Warning lights on the dash of your car can mean a variety of things, but how do you know which ones need immediate attention and which ones aren't quite as urgent? Today we're going to go over some instrument panel basics to add some clarity to this question. Let's go. When it comes to your car's systems, the first indicator of a problem is often a warning light on the instrument panel. It's important to know the meaning of each type of light so you can determine whether you need to stop driving immediately or if you have some time to schedule a repair. When you first start your car, most of the red and amber warning lights on the dash illuminate for a second or two, then turn off. This is called a bulb check. Its purpose is to verify that all the lights are working and that none of them have burned out. As for different colors of lights, there are three main categories. Red warning lights indicate a serious problem requiring you to stop the vehicle immediately and address the problem. Amber lights mean something is malfunctioning but does not pose an immediate threat to the drivability of the vehicle. Green lights inform the driver that a system has been engaged or that action needs to be taken in order to initiate a vehicle function. Let's go over a few examples of the different types of warning lights. We'll start with the red lights. A brake light indicator could mean anything from a parking brake being left on to low brake fluid, worn out brake pads, or low hydraulic pressure. The oil pressure warning light means the vehicle is running low on engine oil or has low pressure. The engine coolant temperature light means there is a cooling system malfunction and engine failure is imminent. These are all serious conditions that need to be addressed right away. Amber lights on the dash indicate a need for caution, but no real danger in continuing to drive the car. The check engine light means there is an emissions control malfunction. The light can flash on and off or stay on for a number of reasons. It's best to address the problem sooner than later, since driving with a check engine light for an extended period of time could result in damage to the catalytic converter. The tire pressure warning light comes on when the air pressure in one or more tires falls more than 3 PSI below the recommended pressure. This should be checked to determine if there is a leak or if it was just a result of ambient temperature drop. Green lights let us know that a system has been engaged, such as the cruise control, or that action is required to accomplish something, such as depressing the brake pedal to move the transmission from park to drive. If your warning lights are failing or become intermittent, it might be time to replace your instrument panel cluster. Cardone remanufactured instrument panel clusters are engineered to match the original performance standards and are 100% tested for accurate calibration. Each unit is pre-programmed with VIN, mileage, and engine hours to minimize downtime and get your vehicle back on the road. 